In this short video, I want to show you the process you will use to find the potential difference between two points that are in two different electric fields. So let's say that I have a metal plate here, a metal plate there, and the metal plate there. Um, and um, e e even if they're not, um, it doesn't matter how, how you make them. At the end of the day, what I want is to have um, a, a small electric field here that I call E0 and a larger, a stronger electric field in this area. Now, if I say that point A is right here and point B is right there and I say what I want to find is VB minus VA. Okay, I want to find this potential difference. Now, I've done here the graph of the electric field. It does change as a function of x because it gets stronger as you go to the right. So this is A, B is here. We know that to find the potential difference, you have to find the area under the graph. Now, the way to do it, okay, the way to do it, so point A is here, point B is right there. What I need really is to find this area. Okay, this is the area that you have to calculate to find VB minus VA. Now, the easiest way to do it is to say, let's introduce point C, which is really that one and then let's do the following let's say vb minus va is equal to vb minus vc plus vc minus va if you see i've done minus vc plus vc really i'm just adding um, a zero i'm not really changing anything but procedure procedure wise it does make a small difference because VB minus VC is the area, is the negative area under the graph from C to B. And here the electric field is constant, so you can easily calculate that. VC minus VA is an area uh, where the electric field is constant. So that's a, a simple area to calculate. Um, the, you know that how to calculate the area of the rectangle. So by doing that, essentially you have now the area of a rectangle to calculate for VB minus VC. And you have another area for another rectangle to calculate here. And that is a fairly easy calculation to do. So if um, this, this is the process that you can use when you need to calculate the potential difference between two points that are in two different electric fields and if you happen to have three um, three different electric fields and let's say point b was all the way here then you would just be dividing your path from a to b into three different areas and all of those three would be the area of the rectangle now this is a somewhat complicated example and i'm not sure how often you will encounter this but if you ever need it at least you know how to do the calculations you can add the point um, here where you separate where the two electric fields are separated and then you can do the calculations for the potential difference that way